one of the best ways for us to eliminate our own biases is through open discussion. Then showing how without this specific tool, we would never be able to know for certain we are causing climate change. I was really pondering about what ways I could engage with AI. The extended essay is a 4,000 word research paper that they write, but what's nice is that they can write it on a topic and a subject of their choice. I've always been really interested in different humanitarian issues um, around the world. Obviously right now racism has come up a lot in social media. And also with the rise of COVID, I was um, reading some articles and I found a lot of interesting research that black people in America were suffering a lot more from COVID and were more likely to die from COVID than white people in America, not because of any biological differences. So I thought, oh, maybe there's something to do with doctors and racial biases they may have. Personally, myself, I've just applied to medical school, so just being able to go through really, really long studies, for example, and pick out the important information and be able to do that sort of like fact checking, I think that's given me a lot of skills. I wanted to focus on this topic of optimization and what ways could optimization be used in engineering and how can that tie into math. Ms. Bowie gave me this inspiration about the question of the sofa problem, which is a problem proposed by Leo Moser. It has to do with what is the largest shape that goes around the corner. And basically that's not really a question that a high school student could answer, so I had to simplify it into finding the largest rectangle that could go through a corner of width P and Q, and possibly that could have a lot of engineering aspects. Through all the supervisions and things like that, I was able to answer the question quite effectively. The findings of my um, extended essay was that a lot of people, when they're providing healthcare, they tend to underplay the symptoms of black people and underestimate how much pain they're in in comparison to white people. And I think this highlights a really um, prominent issue in just like all science and medical fields, which is how we really need to constantly reevaluate ourselves and our own biases. And I think that can really apply to absolutely anything. So I think I sort of, I guess, discovered something that's really important and that people definitely need to work on in healthcare. <laughs>